Hello again, I'm back with an update on ultra cheap SDR with the Realtek based digital TV USB receiver. I'd like to demonstrate it being used to receive a digital mode, but before that I'd like to thank the community for taking the time to check out and provide feedback on the code that enables its use in GNU Radio and on Windows. So I'd like to demonstrate it being used to receive P25. These are two P25 compliant radios, the XTS5000 and the XTS3000. P25 is a digital voice specification that's used by first responders worldwide. It's also known as APCO Project 25. There on the floor I've got the Realtek USB dongle and if you have a look over here this is the web page for OP25 now hosted on Osmocom. It is an open source implementation of the P25 specification. Apart from the implementation, there's also been a lot of security related research going on with this project, so do check it out. There's lots of very interesting results there. If we have a look here, we have GRC. Today I put together this OP25 decoder block that enables you to use OP25 in the visual environment instead of purely on the command line with the provided tools. The blocks around it are purely used to do channel selection and then send it through to the sound card. In the top left hand corner we have the RTL2832 source. Let's first though have a look at this other flow graph which is a FM demodulator using the RTL2832 source as well. Let's quickly have a listen to what P25 sounds like if you were to demodulate it only with an FM demodulator. So I'm going to key up on the radio, there'll be some static and then you'll hear the distinctive P25 sound. So that was the distinctive P25 sound. Now let's take that signal and put it through OP25 and hopefully get my voice coming out the computer speakers. Before I do that though, I'd just like to point out that the RTL2832 code has been completely rewritten now and many of the parameters are exposed in the block properties. One important point is that the relative gain mode has been set to on by default, so you simply have to provide gain values between 0 and 1 instead of uh, those absolute values specific to whichever tuner is in your device. If you have a device that's not in the device table, you can specify the parameters here and select the appropriate tuner. You can change the uh, read length of a bulk USB read. I found that on Linux currently if you uh, make this a larger value than the default then uh, it works better. You can also turn on real-time scheduling to improve the performance too. Uh, a lot of parameters are actually printed out in the uh, console as uh, verbose output is on by default but you can switch that off. There's more documentation on these parameters here at the bottom. So I'm going to key up on the radio now and run this flow graph with the OP25 decoder. I'm going to switch to this view which will show you the actual symbols coming through the symbol stream. Hopefully we will see four narrow lines. I'm just going to key up now. So we had the four narrow lines, but the audio sounded garbled. And this is actually because I'm transmitting with an encrypted digital stream. If you look there on the top of the radio, the little notch here is on the encrypted symbol. And this radio itself has a DES OFB crypto board, and it has a key loaded in there, a test key that we use for testing purposes. If we scroll down and look at the OP25 decoder block, there is actually a key property that you can set and I actually put in the wrong key on purpose but we can actually correct that and hopefully get some audio coming out. Before I do that though, I've got the other radio on here. You'll notice that when I key up no audio will come out of this one because it doesn't have a crypto board and so only the light will blink at the top meaning that there's a transmission but because it doesn't have the keys nor the crypto board uh, it can't actually decode the audio so let's have a look. I'm keying up on there and you can see it blinking on the other radio. So now let me run this flow graph, corrected the key, and let's see how 
Here we go. Switch again to the divots view. All right. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that appeared to work quite nicely. If you want to learn more about P25 or the OP25 project, please check out the website. You can also view a video of a talk given by Matt Robert last year at RuxCon uh, regarding the progress of the OP25 project and some of the interesting research that has been done with it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and until the next installment of Ultra Cheap SDR, thanks for watching.